Amar, let's start your PowerPoint snap. We are preparing for PSU. So you received a call from any PSU, Amar, till now? Uh, no, sir. I've just have, uh, applied for NPCL and NLC. Okay, you applied for NPCL and NLC. And you are expecting some call from these PSUs? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, Amar, so let's start your PowerPoint snap. So power, yes, uh, my first question is to Amar, what is a PowerPoint? Power plant is basically is a <clears throat> uh, is a branch of branch of our studies that deals with generation of uh, hydro of electricity basically and in some cases uh, production of steam steam also uh, we deal with under this. Actually, why we convert different sources of energy into electricity only? Uh, you know, like um, diesel, diesel power plant, the fuel, yes, the diesel we are burning, we are getting the electricity. Hydro power plant, we are utilizing the potential yes, of the water producing electricity. So the end result is uh, uh, electricity production only. Why actually we yes, are so sir. much interested in electricity? Because uh, in our day-to-day -day life, our the most the most uh, consumption, the most consumed uh, product, or we can say the source. Is the electric energy is the electric energy which we are using in our day-to-day -day life that means we are uh, surrounded by lots of uh, mainly uh, we are surrounded by the electrical appliances that runs from this electrical energy only so major cases i mean 90 to 90 plus percentage of things in our day-to-day -day life we are depending basically on the electrical source only electrical energy only that's why mm -hmm. Achha, like uh, Amar, can you tell me some of the ideas by which the entire you know load of a house uh, we will be able to bear using some kind of renewable energy resources? So how how we can uh, club uh, you know different kind of renewable energy resources to meet the energy requirement at our uh, domestic purposes for our domestic purposes? Uh, in our uh, that means uh, your question is ki, uh, we can can we replace some that means dependence of our electrical uh, energy ah, yes, to yes. any other yes yes okay, yes. okay. Uh, in terms of our dependence we can uh, generally i have also seen in some houses that they are using solar panels instead mm -hmm. of that means uh, their power generation the where they are generating the power the source is our sunlight only so using solar solar panels also we can for example uh, uh, for example uh, what i have, what i have seen that by using the solar panels the way, by utilizing the solar energy they they convert that solar energy into heat energy and that heat energy they use in uh, that means in uh, while heating heating domestical water at a, a large quantity for example and uh, that is one part and uh, also the wind energy wind energy we are also using basically in many wind power plants also they basically uh, use wind energy to uh, to convert it into electrical energy to uh, convert that means to convert it into electrical energy and that electrical energy we are using so wind energy also we can use and uh, amar uh, you heard about reserve factor of a power plant reserve factor uh, uh, I think, uh, sir. Uh, I think, sir. Reserve factor. I think it is the difference. Is it a difference between the uh, total the total plant capacity minus the uh, what we, what a company what a plant that can produce minus what we are actually producing in that plant. It is the difference. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think so. Okay. Okay. So, which power plant uh, you have preferred? Like all different kind of power plants, or uh, any specific? Like you preferred okay. hydro, hydro, geothermal, nuclear. So basically, basically, I'm comfortable with sir uh, uh, steam, steam power plants, hydro energy, where the uh, water, water as our source is used. Mm -hmm. For generating power, related. So okay, so thermal power plant they are operated on what kind of cycle? Can you draw the cycle, thermodynamic cycle for a thermal power plant? Thermal power. Plant. Mm -hmm.
sell or draw for such team partner or guest partner basically steam based steam based table okay. okay. yes so can it will be the cycle uh rankine so, cycle thermodynamic cycle it works okay rankine cycle mm -hmm. so can you draw the ps diagram yes sir pv diagram for this rankine cycle yes can you quickly draw the ts and pv diagram uh, it it is the ts diagram sir mm -hmm. so this is ts diagram this is with yes, superheating without superheating it is with superheating na no, sir because it is already passing the dome, dome to this okay. to the superheating so without reheating with reheating it is without reheating na no, because i have only one stage of uh, uh, expansion is there okay yes so can, can you tell me the advantages of superheating uh you carried out superheating yes sir so what are the advantage of carrying out the superheating in a typical rankine cycle uh, yes sir i can correlate this thing with our uh, thermodynamic property because in thermodynamics we have learned that uh, a, when whenever we are supplying heat at a high temperature whenever uh, at a high temperature its availability its availability uh, energy or function is very is very more is very good as compared to any heat supplied at the lower temperature so in this superheated so in this superheated condition in the superheated condition the heat we are supplying at a high temperature due to which its irreversibility will decrease automatically the efficiency will increase our output will be good in case of uh, this superheating case so efficiency will increase with superheating uh yes sir and what about reheating uh the effect of reheating uh in re in in sir in reheating obviously in reheating also there are uh, uh, more number of stages we have to add up that means to that will be two or more expansion stages will there two or more the heat supplied uh, stages heat exchangers will be required so in reheating cases what i have learned is ki up to a certain limit due to this reheating efficiency will increase and after that uh, it will drop the efficiency will goes on decrease in reheating cases so what do you understand by regenerative rankine cycle uh regenerating rankine cycles yes sir basically regenerating rankine cycle is the mode is a is a concept of using the the main purpose of using this regenerative cycle is to is to minimize is to minimize the fuel consumption and uh, and to avoid the uh, economizer stage to avoid the economizer stage that means sir this stage this this uh, this heat this is this is also heat supplying this is also a heat supplied but at a low temperature this when after pump it will go supply the heat but the heat supplied is at low temperature so obviously due to this due to this phenomena due to this first stage so we have a obviously we have a loss of uh, not energy also loss of availability here so we should avoid so for good or better efficiency or uh, uh, effectiveness of a power plant we used to avoid the this first stage first stage of uh, heat supplied at lower temperature so for that we use the regenerative concept where we will take the heat from the outlet of the turbine and we would supply directly after pump so that this stage can be avoided amar uh, you know there is a limit to uh, reheating so why there is a limit like generally we go with the two or three stage reheating so why we cannot go more than two or three stage reheating what is the difficulty with that uh, basically sir uh, i think uh, if uh, two or that means what we are trying that two or more stages if we will exceed the value of the reheating that means we are uh, basically when we are separate, when we are going for a reheating cases the rp value will for a first for a one stage what is the rp value after that subsequently the rp value will goes on decrease because there will be intermediate pressure also will come in every reheating stages so i think for that the uh, after some stages that means one two, two or three stages will extend if will go beyond that i think the irreversibility will be more 
in cases of more than two or three stages the irreversibility will more what, that means what, that the, what is the effect of condenser pressure on the performance of a ring time cycle like if you will decrease the condenser pressure what will happen and how we can decrease that condenser pressure sir basically if you will uh, if you will decrease the condenser pressure what is going to happen the at the turbine outlet the dryness fraction will decrease uh, the, the dryness fraction will decrease and uh, due to uh -huh. uh, the yes sir the in while when we decrease the condenser pressure the dryness fraction will obviously it will decrease and the uh, so uh, so a large so the rp value the uh, that means we have to do that means the pump work that means we have to do a mo more work we have to work input more in case of while we are uh, while go for the pump stages so mm -hmm. due to this pressure we have good uh, so more pressure it, so means it is not good to good to decrease the condenser pressure uh, obviously sir because uh, condenser pressure it can decrease but uh, uh, up to a certain limit that means the atmospheric temp uh, so, suppose in a power plant the outside atmospheric pressure we should not decrease our condenser pressure to that amount key up to the atmospheric pressure or less than atmospheric so we, pressure. we we cannot keep vacuum in that condenser uh, in rank so basically you are asking about this rankin cycle ah yes yes so uh, uh, rankin cycle sir vacuum pressure mm -hmm. yeah. no sorry sir no idea okay 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 my last question is to you amar yes sir. amar uh, what is deaerator what is the function of a deaerator and where we attach deaerator mm -hmm. uh, I just remember. Just I have heard this. Just I forgot. I think. Deaerator. I think it is uh, deaerator. 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 But अभी थोड़ा सा और subject का understanding आप develop करो. You answered. You answered basic question. I started with the uh, cycle. आप reserve factor नहीं बता पा. Reserve factor क्या होता है? It is a rated power of the plant divided by the maximum load on the plant. Rated power क्या है? मान लीजिए plant आपका 200 megawatt का. Yes. Maximum load on the plant is 150. So 200 yes. divided by 150. That is what उसे बोलते हैं reserve factor. जनरली हम 20 टू 25 परसेंट पावर किस पे रखते हैं रिजर्व पे रखते हैं रिजर्व फैक्टर इज ऑलवेज मोर देन वन ठीक है मर सो मैंने पहले ही बताया आपको देर आर वेरियस फैक्टर्स एसोसिएटेड विद द पावर ट्रेंड लाइक रिजर्व फैक्टर लोड फैक्टर डाइवर्सिटी डाइवर्सिटी फैक्टर यूटिलाइजेशन फैक्टर हां हां तो अभी आई आई नो बताया बट अभी रीहीटिंग से क्या होगा अगर आप प्रेशर कम करोगे तो टरबाइन वर्क भी बढ़ेगा ना और आपने कम वर्क तो बता दिया Yes, sir. But turbine work will also increase. So actually, it is good uh, for the plant. We will be able to get uh, more power. So, sir, uh, condenser pressure. को हम लोग क्या vacuum मतलब vacuum pressure तक ले सकते हैं? बिल्कुल. Most most of the time we we operate it below atmospheric only. इसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं था back flow का कुछ दिक्कत नहीं होता जैसे atmosphere से भी नीचे चलेंगे तो. We will be able to get the more power, sir. So generally we maintain a slightly lower pressure only. Atmospheric से थोड़ा कम ही रखते हैं हम उसमें. Okay, and try to search about that. That how we make that atmosphere pressure. Oh, pressure, how we maintain that? That also I asked you. But now time is a little less. Amar, 